What's up you guys, Nick here, happy Friday. I just got back into cell service. I was on vacation for a while, and as soon as I got back, I saw this video. Usain Bolt finally ran 800 meters, what we've all been waiting for. He's one of the most talented people to ever walk the planet, and with a 400 meter personal best of 45.28 seconds, we all thought if he could link two of those back to back, well, of course he's gonna be the world record holder. We all wanted to see him run an 800. The guy should be able to jog a couple 50 second quarters back to back. Um, but as you're gonna see in this video, it's not exactly how it went down. Now I'm gonna play a little bit of this for you guys real quick. Not the whole thing, but I just wanna show you what this ultimately looked like. He looks like he's still in great shape. I mean, obviously the guy still works out. He's put on some weight since his Olympic days, as have I. Um, I'm sure he's training for different things these days, but uh, he's just not quite as fast as he used to be. And nothing against the man, but what I will say is you know Canadian Magazine had a great write-up and I want to read this quote to you guys because all of us that were watching this, all of us that were waiting for it, we had higher expectations than this and the only reason we did is because of what he and his coach said. Here I'll read it straight from you guys. Ahead of the race, Bolt said his fastest time over 800 meters during training was 205 and claimed that with spikes on he could dip under two minutes. Based on that information, his fans had high expectations going into the race, but they did not get the result they hoped for. Certainly, we did not. He jogged a 240. That's right, two minutes and 40 seconds. Now I have three takeaways from this and a call out to Mr. Usain Bolt. Number one, I know this was a commercial, okay? This was for CarMax and the gimmick was that a CarMax customer was going to try to get a, a quote for their car uh, faster on their cell phone than he could run 800 meters. And obviously, as a payday, as a guy who's, you know, run for paydays before, I get it, all right? I get it. He didn't want a trainer, he didn't want to go to the well just for a commercial, no big deal. I totally get it. And that leads me to number two, well done CarMax. I saw this everywhere when I got back in. It was all over every single running media outlet, even non-running media outlets covered this. This is a called a publicity stunt, right? CarMax said, we're gonna pay Usain Bolt bank to do this stunt and we'll get earned media from it. Everybody will cover this because it's such a big deal watching Usain Bolt race his first 800 meters. They got millions and millions of dollars of earned media and they only, I don't know what they paid Bolt for this, but I guarantee the ROI on this was fantastic. So well done CarMax. Um, and that of course leads me to number three, the earned media for this was so huge because there is such a massive interest from the general public wondering what Usain could actually run for 800. I'm not calling this 240 a proper race. What I am saying is I, like the rest of the world, want to see a proper 800 from Mr. Usain Bolt and I'm gonna throw this challenge out. Bolt, I know we're both retired. I know we're on the back end of that bell curve of, of where we were able to perform once, but let's do this. I want you to set a date a time and a location we will both train for the 800 and we'll throw down head to head we'll do it all for charity i'll pace you i will even i know i'm a sit and kicker but i will go out on whatever pace you want me to through 600 meters you can sit on my shoulder and just dump on me the last 200 in a 20 second last 200 whatever you want we will set it up for the people, but I want to see you run an all out 800. That's my challenge to you, man. Just tell me the time, location, and place, and I'll see you then.